Hello everyone, welcome to Lead Script. Today we are going to discuss this LRDA set. Just read out the statement and try to solve the set. So the statement given is Anil attended a six month course on management at National Institute of Management, Ahmedabad. The course was between January and June 2015. It means six months are there. As part of the course, he had to take six modules in marketing, three modules in economics, two modules in finance and one module in operations. It is also known that his score in any module is either of 60, 65, 70, 75, 80 or 85. He took one module in January, two modules in February, three modules in March, three modules in April, two modules in May and one module in June. It is also known that he did not take more than one module on any subject in any month. He took the module on operations in March and he did not take any module on economics in March. His marks in different modules on the same subjects were different. And now some bar graph is given. There were six modules in marketing, three modules in economics, two modules in finance and one module in operations. So let's just make a table first. Now here is the table. Like there are six modules in marketing and also it was given that he did not take more than one module on any subject in any month. Here. So combining both, we get to know that six modules of marketing will be one will be in Jan, one will be in February, one in March, one in April, one in May and one in June. Now he took the module on operations in March and he did not take any module on economics in March. Now there was one module in January, two modules in February and so on. So let's just mention it here. There was one module in January, two in February, three in March, three in April. 2 in May and 1 in June. So now in the month of January, one module is already completed. So here there will be no module. In June also, one module is completed. So there will be no module here. Now three modules are in e economics. Three modules are there in economics. So only three places are left. So one module will be in February, one in April and one in May. Now check for finance. There are two modules in finance and one module in operations not two modules are completed in the month of february so there will be no module here also in the month of may there are two modules completed so there will be no module here now two places are left for finance that is march and april so they will be filled now one place is left for operations and only one module is there for operations so now here bar graph is given let's just try to find out the values now it is known that his score in any module is either 60, 65 and so on. So let's just mention it here. 60, 65, 70, 75, 80. Now try to evaluate this data. Now it was given. There are 10 subjects in which the scores is at most 80. And the total number of subjects is 6 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 that is equal to 12. So out of 12 subjects, in 10 subjects scored 80 or less than 80. So it means... For 85, there should be two subjects. Also, for at least 65, there were 11 subjects. So it means for 60, there will be one subject because there is a total of 12 subjects. 11 subjects have at least 65 marks. So only one subject will be there who is having 60 marks. Now at most 65 is 4. There are 4 subjects which marks is at most 65. At most 65 means this plus this and it is given to be 4. So the value of 65 will be equal to 3. Now evaluate this and this. At least 70 and at least 75. There are 8 subjects in which he scored at least 70 and there are 7 subjects in which he scored 75. So it means the number of subjects in which he scored 70 marks is equal to 1 because greater than equal to 70 is given to be 8 and greater than equal to 75 is equal to 7. So the number of subjects in which he scored 70 marks is equal to 1. Now the number of subjects in which he scored at most 75 is equal to 7. At most 75 means this plus this plus this plus this. And the value given is 7. Now 3 plus 1 plus 1 that is equal to 5. So the number of subjects in which he scored 75 will be equal to 2. Now 2 plus 2 plus 1 plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 9. So the number of subjects in which he scored 80 will be equal to 3. So this is a table formed. Now let's just move to the questions. Which of the following is the maximum marks he could have scored in the month of April, May and June? So it is April, 
my and chicken now there are six modules in the marketing so it means one value will be 85 one is 80 and one is 75 in the marketing column because we need to maximize the total number of marks in the month of april may and june the values for the module marketing in april may and june will be 85 80 75 now for economics this value and this value the maximum marks he could have scored in economics will be 85 plus 80 because two 85s are present so we used 185 here and 185 here there are three 80s present used 180 here and one here now check for finance there is one module in the month of april the maximum marks he could have scored in the finance in the month of april will be equal to 80 as no more 85 is present 285 are already covered so here the value will be 80 now add all these values it will be equal to 485 that will be our answer which is second part now let's move to the next question now the second question states which of the following must be his marks in one of the modules in finance if it is known that he scored 80 in the module on operations so there were six modules in the marketing 160 will be occupied here 165 170 175 180 and 185 all will be occupied in the marketing the values left will be 0 2 0 1 2 and 1 now in the question it was given he scored 80 in the module on operations so one more 80 is removed it means the values left will be 0 2 0 1 1 65 is left 75 is left 80 is left and 85 is left now out of the two modules from finance he will have to score 165 and the other value can be 75 80 or 85 so one of the value will have to be 65 if we do not do so then if we chose 75 and 80 the values left for economics will be 2 1 it was given marks in the different modules on the same subject were different so here the marks on both the subjects will be same which is not possible if we selected 80 and 85 then also this 2 is left and this 1 is left the marks in two subjects will be same which is not possible so our answer to this question will be 65 this first part let's just move to the next question now the next question is what was his average marks in the modules on marketing there were six modules in the marketing and his mark should be the average of 60 65 70 75 80 and 85 so the average will be 72.5 that will be our answer which is b part which is b part so this is it for this particular set if you have any doubt in this set you can ask in the comment section below i hope you like the video like share and subscribe to our youtube channel for regular content thanks and happy learning